This family finding some relief knowing the man who raped and assaulted their teen daughter will pay for his crimes. But getting to this point took days, months, nearly a year of living in terror and trauma, not knowing if he would get out. It's literally been the worst thing I've ever gone through in my entire life. A nearly year long nightmare has come to a close for this mom and family. We're not identifying her because her daughter was a victim of a sexual assault. Over the past year, the, it was just constantly waking up in the morning and my daughter and myself checking our phones to make sure he was still listed as an active inmate in the Durham County Jail. And that's because Altanani is going away for a long time. The former Rougemont Pizza Shop co-owner took a plea in Durham County Court where he admitted to the rape, assault and kidnapping of his then 15 year old employee. Tonight, we sat down with a teenager's mother just hours after coming face to face with her daughter's attacker. This was not a, um, a casual sex encounter. This was a violent rape. He used his position of power as a manager to groom and rape a child in a small community. The assault happened in the early hours of March 24, 2022. This mom says El Sanani took her teen daughter from her home and raped her behind this pizza shop. He drove her behind their building and immediately started issuing orders for her to take off her clothes and raped her. I'm grateful that we're finally able to use our voices and talk about it. But it hasn't been easy speaking out. This mom and her daughter using their voice in hopes others will come forward and share their story if they are victims of a sexual assault. They came into court today and their voices were heard not in a meek whisper, but in a loud roar. She gets to choose her destiny. She gets to choose how she grows up, what she turns into, who she's going to be. Also tonight, I had the opportunity to speak with this teen survivor. She told me today she's finally feeling like herself again. She knows that this is a journey, a healing journey, but she's taking those steps. In Durham, Jamise Price, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.